recording. Just had to be sure. Because what's going on everybody? It's Toronto Guy here. This is episode one friggin' hundred. Yay! Of Toronto Guy Cooks. 100 episodes now. What a journey it's been. We still got the same garbage setup. But you know what? That's okay. Because, what's with that? I don't know, something fell. I'm teaching you all how to, well, not necessarily how to cook because not many of you, have, well, practically none of you have made my stuff. I'm teaching you all how to sit and watch other people cook stuff. Cool. But today, for episode 100, we're gonna pay tribute to, 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 we're gonna, we're making jajangmyeon, jajangmyeon, a Korean noodle dish that was requested by longtime super fan, Gordon Freeman, all right? Now before we start cooking, let me just ramble on for a bit more. You see, back before I started doing the cooking videos, I had a, a, a Patreon. And on that Patreon, I had a podcast called MRI, Mindless Random Insanity. And at one point, I mentioned on that podcast, you know, I love cooking. Maybe I should just make some cooking videos and upload them to YouTube. And who was the first person who was there from the beginning who said, do it, Toronto guy? I will watch every single episode naked and bubbly. None other than Gordon Freeman, let's have a hand. Right on. So this is for Gordon Freeman, because he's been there since the beginning, okay? He suggested Jajangmyeon, and that's what I'm deciding to make. I've never made it before. I looked up recipes, we're gonna rock and roll. So episode of 100, here we go. We're gonna start with our lovely wok, because cultural appropriation is awesome. Anyone who's been watching since for a while, long enough now knows that we did a full cultural appropriation appreciation season of Toronto Guy Cooks, and it was awesome. So let's get the wok and let's rock that rhymes. Okay, we're gonna start. We have black bean paste. This is imported from Korea. There's none of that honky shit. This is the real deal imported stuff. Black bean paste. We want 200 grams of it. Let's rock and roll. So this, this jar is uh, 500 grams. We want a little less than half of what's in this jar. We're not, we haven't turned on the heat yet. Okay, I'm gonna get to that. There we go, that's a little less than half. Right on. And now to this, we're gonna add 100 grams of oil. So whatever, however much black bean paste, you add half its weight or whatever in oil. So about 100 grams of oil. Uh, there we go, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Maybe a dab more. There you go, dab. All right. Now, we're gonna turn the heat on to medium. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry the black bean paste in the oil until it becomes nice and bubbly all around. Ah, because it's gonna bring out that flavor apparently. Okay, there we go. Uh, I probably should have used a darker, one of my dark pans because this looks like I'm smudging poo all over the pot <laughs> or the wok but yeah there we go brought back the wok baby so I'm gonna cook this up fry it up on medium heat until it all starts to bubble the oil is gonna release the awesomeness of the black bean paste we want to keep since this is I don't this is not I'm pretty sure this is not a non-stick wok so I'm gonna have to continuously stir to make sure it doesn't stick so there we go but yeah episode 100 baby and to think, I have the same setup, but the early episodes, the, the color look, well, it's starting to smoke. I think I got some water on the uh, the burner. To think, the first episodes, few episodes, the color was all shitty because the editing program I had, that was the best it was able to do and so I started using Sony Vegas. So yeah, still the same setup because you silly people, except for Freeman and Mr. Fish and the occasional um, um, uh, 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 men's TV, uh, no one else gives me money, so Freeman and Fish do, so let's have a hand for them. Right on. Ah, this smells pretty good. I can already see, it's like a tangy smell to it. So anyway, we're gonna make this, we're gonna keep stirring, let it heat up, let it come to a boil. Toronto guy is cooking on film for the 100th time. 100, man. And think about this, okay? I have a website for my real world place. Look at me doing this, just to keep it entertaining. This is the best I can do because it's the best setup I have. You know what I should do sometime? To do a little video of my setup so people can see what I'm actually dealing with here. <laughs> Maybe you'll be interested in that. 
But where was I going? I forget. Let me just keep stirring. Maybe it'll come back to me. But yeah, there we go. Oh, I love the smell. It's it's a familiar smell that you smell when you get some of that Asian food. Ah, so that's where that smell is. I've always wondered what that smell was. If it was obviously not soy sauce. It's like a bold but tanginess to it. It's black bean paste. Like I'm learning as I go. Like oh, that's what I was gonna say earlier. 100 episodes. I have a real world website which has been active now for probably two years. Maybe a year. When did I officially launch it? I forget. It might have been uh, 2020, January 1st. But either way, they get to see my cooking videos. However, they get the edited down non commentary ones. They get like two minute versions with just music playing underneath. They don't get to hear the comedy and the entertainment of Toronto Guy because, I don't know, but rightfully so, because you know how many views those videos get on my real world YouTube page and on my website? Including from family and friends? You know how many views they get on average? Fucking two. Two! Whereas Toronto Guy Cooks episodes get up to 20 or more. So I'm cooking for you crazy people. All right, now it's starting to simmer. I love it when it keeps stirring. You can already feel it sticking, so keep stirring it. I want it all bubbling, and we'll continue from there here on episode one friggin' hundred. Jajang me on, baby. Jajang me on. Ah, so that's where that thing comes from. That taste is black bean paste. All right, it's already stuck to the bottom. Just, just pretend it's it, that you don't see it. Okay, it's it's cooking. This food sticks to the bottom all the time with stuff. All right, all right. So this is bubbling nicely, and yeah, I'm glad. I'm I'm excited that I learned where that flavor came from in various Asian dishes. Like when you have like a pork and there's a dark sauce to it, and you might be thinking, I've never tasted soy sauce like tastes like that. Why can't I get soy sauce that tastes like that? That's because it's not soy sauce. It's black bean paste. And when you fry it in the oil, it really brings out, oh yeah, brings out everything. All right, there's some stick to the pan, so be it. We're still gonna keep it big. It's like Al Bundy says in an episode of Married with Children, ashes from the past from ashes from the past for burgers of the future. But we're not making burgers, we're making Jajang Mian. Courtesy of Gordon Freeman's suggestion in episode 100 of Toronto Guy Cooking. Alright, so it's all bubbling throughout. Very good. I'm gonna try to unstick as much as possible. Oh, I should probably really invest in a non-stick wok, but I hardly use the wok. I could have just used my regular pan, but I want it to be authentic. <laughs> All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this black bean paste, very good, and we're gonna put it in a bowl and set it aside. All right, so it's stuck, but hey, I live dangerously. We're gonna set this aside. It's okay that the oil's like that. We're gonna use that, like right now. Because right now, we're gonna take some of that oil we're gonna take two tablespoons of it, just the oil, or you can use like fresh oil. I'm gonna use oil from the black bean. Let's use three tablespoons. I'm gonna use oil from the paste to get the paste flavor into our chopped pork belly, baby. We're using pork belly. We're going full Asian today. Excellent. All right. Now we're gonna stir fry this up. We're gonna cook it for a while. What we're looking for here now is for the pork belly pieces to get nice and golden brown. Now that could take 10, 15, 20 minutes. Who knows, baby? We'll see. Let's do the flip. Yeah, let's do the flip. Look at the flip. No, I'm not used to the left. I'm not used to doing this. Well, there, just pretend I did it. I know how to flip, but I'm not used to using the walk. All right, we're gonna fry this up, our pork belly. Of course, the black bean paste is not helping. It's already making it look golden brown, but I am a licensed food handler. I know what's right and what's wrong, and it's not ready yet. We're gonna continue frying this up until our pork belly slices get nice and golden brown, and we'll be back at that moment right now. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. As you can see, our non-stick wok is totally not, is t I, mean, is, I mean, our stick wok is totally stick, but that's okay because I'm going to invest in a non-stick wok or not. But yeah, I would recommend putting making this in a non-stick pan. It's still good. 
the reason that I'm saying oh man is because you can't, if you're not a professional like I claim to be, you can't tell if it's golden brown. Now a lot of the pieces look bright, that's because they're mostly fat, but a lot of the pieces also you, you can tell, you'll be able to tell by the texture, it'll have that rough, rough feeling. And you'll be able to be like, okay, that, that seems crispy-ish. So yeah, but we're good. Right on. Smells freaking lovely. Now, we're gonna add some minced ginger. All right, there we go. Excellent. Let's add a little more because I want the flavorfulness going crazy, baby. All right, I'm gonna give this a quick mix. Mix, sorry. Let the mixed ginger get to, oh my God. Oh yeah. Let the mix, the minced ginger get to know the pork and the fat and the black bean paste. Oh, very excited, baby. Episode 100, baby. Right on. And now to this, we're going to add a one tablespoon of soy sauce. There we go. Give this a mix. Let it bond. Ah. Oh. Oh, come on, Freeman. Why did you make me make this, man? Now I can't share any with anybody, which is a good thing. Ha, uh, all right. Very good. Ugh. You see, at one point in between when I said, well, we do that right now, and then now, like the, 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 the paste on the bottom was damn near all gone, like all off, scraped off, but as it continued to cook and fry, it just, you know, turned the, the wok into like it looked like somebody took a big poo in it, but it's all good. All right, now this. I have about four or five stalks of green onion, just chopped, however, we're gonna add about half of it. So I'll grab about half of it, throw it on in there. Uh, that's about half. We're gonna stir fry this for about two minutes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my God, it just gets better as I add stuff. God, this is a awesome. Oh, and I love the sizzle sound. All right, so as we're stir frying this for about a minute and a half, let's thank some more people. Freeman, of course. Gotta thank Fish for being a donator. Gotta also thank Scented Nectar. She's also been around for a long time. She even gave me some recipes to try, some of which I actually filmed. So go back and watch more episodes of Toronto Guy Cooks. There's a few in there that Scented Nectar gave, also known as Cla Claire Odeon or something like that. That's how she's known now. But yeah, she gave me some recipes. She's an avid, avid, avid super fan as well. Gotta also thank Daniel, Dan the man. Daniel is late to the party, but he's early to the dance. I like that. I made that up while I was like frying this up during that 20. Oh, by the way, that was, yeah, see, yeah, I already said 15 minutes. I made that up. Like, what am I gonna say about little Daniel or Dan the man? And I thought, you know, he was late to the party, but he's early to the dance. Like he's like always usually the first one to show up during the live streams and he's there and he's like, all right, oh, Toronto guy's the best, man. He's the best. So little Daniel, he's a good dude. Go follow him. Sith, Sith shows up with his opinions and his craziness because you need that kind of stuff in your life. You can't just ignore all the craziness going on. You need somebody to update you. I mean, and Sith updates me and everyone else who's in the live streams. Ah, Sith, Thomas Brzebibla, who doesn't show up as often in the, li in the live stream, but he was there quite frequently in the beginning in the comments of the Toronto Guy Cooks episodes. Oh my god, awesome. Jimmy and Beard Boy for being uh, patrons back when I had a Patreon and I only had a total of three, and they were Freeman, Jimmy, and Beard Boy, even though they never seemed to stop by. If I wish I had my boo button, <laughs> but uh, go check out Jimmy's channel, Punk Static as well as Lycan Theory. Yeah, Jimmy. And uh, who else? Well, I guess Immense TV, he gave me money. Uh, NJ Grant, who occasionally shows up, who some who occasionally shows up in live streams. That antiquity car or antique car account who shows up every once in a while. You show up. I think you were the one who, rec who challenged me to make the panna cotta, and I did, and I blew your mind, because I'm awesome. All right, so yeah. Episode 100, man, and we're not even done. I mean, you could be watching this in the future, and it could be on episode 5,000 by now. Look at how far we've come. Look at how it used to look, my videos, my setup, compared to what it looks like now. 
the mansion that I live in now with the big kitchen and the full film crew and the big titty friggin' model. That's all because of you guys. <laughs> all right. Very good. So it's been about two minutes. Ah, I love, not only do I love the sound of sizzle, but I love to watch stuff sizzle. Let's watch some more. All right. Now we're going to add the rest of our green onion. There we go. As well as one medium chopped normal onion. There we go. All right. And of course, you can you see the normal onion. You can chop them finer. But I chose to do them like this because the recipe I'm following, I found on YouTube. I'll try to remember to link his video in my thing. I probably shouldn't because his looks a lot better than mine, and I don't like when people look a lot better than me. But I'll try to I'll try to remember. But yeah, he was like he cut them up like this, and I loved it. I love big chunks of food in my food. I love the the, the stuff that you can see, the visuals. Mm. All right, I love the smell. I love how it's looking. Jajangmyeon. Korean for yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, now we're going to add some sugar. Add a little sweetness to it, baby. Let's get our white sugar. We're going to add two and a half tablespoons of honky sugar. No, I should have gotten another. I should have measured this out first. We're also going to add some fish sauce. The recipe I'm following said oyster sauce. I couldn't find oyster sauce at the market across the street, but I do have this fish sauce. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of fish sauce to add more flavor to it. Ah, about a tablespoon. Oh, yeah. There we go. And we're going to add some chicken stock in the form of one chicken bouillon cube. If you want to use chicken stock, it's like about uh, uh, one tablespoon. But I'm going to add a full bouillon cube. Get in there and mix it on up. Right, let's give this a mix. Ah, ooh. You can smell everything mixing now. I give you more. Ah, yeah, baby. All right, so I'm gonna mix this until the chicken bouillon cube dissolves. And I think it's dissolved. I can't, well, there it is right there. It's dissolving nicely, baby. Ah, Toronto guys cooking for the hundredth time on film. Okay. You want to talk about other, what I've, I mean, bloody hell, I have a food folder on my computer with, as of right now, roughly 560 items that I've made in, since 2015, when I started taking the cooking seriously. That's called going your own way, not this constantly whining on the internet. Go your own way for real, all right? Stop your bitching, all right? All right, see, yeah, see, look, the... I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but a lot of the stuff that was sticking to the pan, the wok, is now coming off. There we go. It's like, I want to be a part of the party. Give me a part of the party, man. Very good. Lovely. All right, next, we're going to add two tablespoons of our lovely black bean paste. I'm going to do two heaping ones because this stuff is just smells and tastes awesome. All right, two heapings. Heapings, baby. That's probably like four tablespoons. Who cares? Now we're going to mix this well. Oh, get it all in there, baby. All right, excellent. Continue mixing it up nicely. The black bean paste is thick, so you want to make sure everybody gets, a, gets their turn, gets their helping. All right, episode 100, baby. Oh, yeah, a reminder. I want accolades, accolades down in the comments, accolades and congratulations and promises of money in the future, all right? I want accolades and tons of them, right on. Love it, baby. Look, the stuff that was stuck to the block is now coming off. Everybody wants to be a part of this party, baby. Ooh, I wonder if I should add the rest of the black bean paste, because this stuff is oh, awesome. I mean, how much more? Well, I don't have much more. Let's just, uh, let me see. Uh, I think it's good now. Everything's getting covered. The, uh, the, the, the white, uh, as usual, the white onions are being, um, they're misbehaving. 
They don't want any part of the black bean paste covering them because white onions are racist. <sighs> but that's okay because then that means we get to see more colorfulness to our dish. All right. All right, now to this, we're gonna add 200 milliliters of water. There we go. Let's give it a mix. All right. Now everything's calming as it's getting ready for the final touches, baby. Awesome. All right. Oh. Yes, indeed, I am a chef. <laughs> All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna let this simmer. Let's lower the heat to medium low. For about five minutes, it's time to get our noodles ready. So while this is simmering, this pot of water needs to move its freaking ass and hurry up. All right, with a simmer. It's gonna simmer and do stuff. And while it's simmering, we're gonna make some other stuff real quick. All right, so we're taking one tablespoon of water, and to that, we are gonna add half of a tablespoon of potato starch. I'm using sweet potato starch. You could probably, I guess you could use regular starch, but we're gonna do this, we're gonna mix it. This is gonna, we're gonna add this to our mixture over here, and this is gonna help thicken the sauce, all right? Let's give that a quick mix up. All right. Mix this real quick, and let's add in our starch mixture. We want to mix it real quick so it doesn't have a chance to form any balls of goo. So get on in there. There we go. Give it a nice quick mix. All right. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so glad I made, thank you, Freeman. I'm so glad I made this, because now I know where that flavor's from that I've always wondered when I had Asian food. It's not from some soy sauce or some uh, magai sauce. It's from black bean paste. Love it, man. Now I gotta think of stuff I can, other things I can make with black bean paste. Maybe like black beans uh, steak something, you know, with, with beef. Oh, love it. And it's thickened up the sauce nicely. That little bit of starch and water has thickened it up quite nicely. There we go. You need to mix it right on. Just continue to let it simmer. Oh my God, this looks awesome. And I love how everything's now de-sticking from the block. Everybody wants to be a part of this party, baby. I am recording, right? All right. Can you imagine if episode 100 would be the one where I forgot to or didn't click with the record button? Oh, 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 I mean, this is basically ready. We don't have anything else to do except bowl it, but we're going to continue to simmer it because we still got to do our noodles. Let me just, can I at least just lick some of this? Mm. Oh, that's bursting, bursting with 100 episodes of awesomeness. Holy crap. Oh. And that was just a little bit of the sauce. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, love, I love the slide. Look how it just glides. All right. So let's continue waiting for our water to boil. Oh, yeah. As this continues to simmer. All right. Oh, I love it. Love it, baby. Oh, and I love everything that's coming off the sides. So good. So 100, baby. Our water's boiling, there we go. Now I'm using these kinds of noodles. These are fresh noodles, courtesy of the Asian market across the street from me in the, in the refrigerated section. You can apparently use regular spaghetti. I want to be authentic. I'm going to add these regular noodles and because they're not dried, probably only take about maybe four or five minutes to cook through. Let's add them. Probably should have used the bigger, no, that pot's fine. All right, let's give them a mix. There we go. See how long these take. I've never made these kinds of noodles before. Even fresh pasta, I've never actually made it from scratch, obviously. I mean, that's quite the friggin', uh, I've seen them do it on Hell's Kitchen. I mean, that's quite the, uh, the, uh, 
the, the journey to make fresh pasta from scratch using flour, water, and an egg and flattening it out over and over. But I've never actually even cooked with it either. All right, so let's let this cook for about, let's give it about five minutes as we continue simmering our awesome sauce, our awesome black bean paste, pork belly onion, ginger, green onion. Ah, awesomeness. Oh, and sugar, there's also sugar in here. Can't forget the sugar, baby. Right on. All right, so while we're waiting for our, well, our noodles to finish, let's just snap our fingers, fingal fingers, idiot. Until the noodles are ready, and we're ready to conclude episode 100. Uh, yay. All right, so it's been about four minutes. Let's give this one last final mix. Oh my God, awesome. I did a taste test of one of the noodles, and they, they're they ready, man. All right. Love it. These are Shanghai-style Asian noodles, baby. We're totally culturally appropriating. Turn the heat off. Heat off. Now, what we want to do now, we want to take these noodles, and we want to drain them and run cold water over them because there's still lots of starch on them. So we're going to drain them whoop, and run cold water over them. We'll do that right now. All right. Ah, uh, mm, look at the size of these noodles. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, oh yeah, they're ready, baby. And now we're gonna start bowling, starting with our noodles, baby. All right. Probably should do this by hand like the dude in the recipe video did. Let's do it by hand. Shut up, these noodles are very long. All right. Don't eat all of them, of course. There we go. There we go. I don't even know if you can see, man. There. There we go. Right on. And now, let's take some of our jajangmyeon black bean pork. Oh my god. I just got a whiff of that. It's so good. Let's have a taste of it right now. Let's see if I can get a little. There's a piece of pork belly. All right. Come on. Probably just use a spoon or a fork for this bit. All right, let's give it a nice jajang me on black bean paste. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at the mess. Lovely. Mm. Holy shit! That is freaking phenomenal. Oh my god, Freeman is the man, and I am the bitch. <laughs> All right. That is freaking good. Let's get some of our stuff. Oh, that was really good. Let's pour it over half of it so you can still see the noodles for the picture. Excellent. Ah, give me a net or thing. All right. Wipe this off to be presentable. Doogie doogie. Now we're gonna top it, garnish it with some strips of green onion. Just put them on side. There we go. Episode 100, Jajang Mian. Obviously, since only Freeman, Fish, Immense TV, Nectar also has given me money in the past. Everyone else, you're just really selfish. You're just terrible people with your money, all right? You're not donating your hard earned money to me, all right? Mm. Get it ready for the picture, man. There. Oh, so good. I'm gonna take a picture and insert it right here because the, the lighting does no justice. Episode 100! And there you have it, kids. Jajangmyeon, a Korean dish. Tasted phenomenal. I made enough for two people. I wish, I wish I made enough for more, but that's what the recipe said to do. And it's awesome. Episode 100. Thanks everybody for the support. As I said, I want accolades down below and promises of donations from those of you who've never donated before. All right? Jajangmyeon. And we'll see you next week for episode 101, which won't matter anywhere near as much as this one. Until then, have a lovely day.